guys um, had some questions and some interest from some Cash Creek crew members. They wanted to know how to record a song, how it happens, what do I do back here, you know, in my productions. Well, um, this is my little demo studio, and um, basically before a song is cut by an artist, they, the songwriter will go have demos made of the song, and that's generally where I come in. And um, so they'll send me what's called a guitar vocal or a keyboard vocal, and it usually sounds something like this. Sent you around, asked you to dance, but you shot it down, that's okay. It's a pretty good little country song. Um, and then what I'll do is I listen back to that. I'll go ahead and make me a, a chart. You can see here using the Nashville number system. Um, it's a real easy system to use. It's where every basically every chord has a number. So whatever the key of the song is up here, like you see this is an A, so all these ones are A's. And then I'll know what all these other ones are in relation to the A chord. Um, you can look at Nashville number stuff on YouTube all day long, a lot of stuff on that. But then I'll follow the chart, I'll get the tempo of the song, and um, I'll get my click track going. Sounds like this. Not very musical, I know. And then I'll put my headphones on, look at my chart, and I'll start bashing away at the drums. Next step in our process is the acoustic guitar. It is for for this particular song. It's just a country song. You got to have an acoustic guitar in your country song. It's just the way it is. Um, now we generally will put two tracks down. This will just be track one of the acoustic. That's the next step. Now we're putting down some keys. Let's go. Let's put down some piano on this tape. Huh? good stuff. Um, now I'm going to put down what's called like a, I call it a crunch guitar track. It's uh, basically the electric rhythm is, is what it is and I do a couple tracks of that as well. Okay, so now we're going to put down a lead guitar track, um, kind of my favorite thing to play, so uh, here we go. I don't have a steel guitar, I'm going to put down what's called a slide guitar. Um, so it's actually a tack slide uh, made by a friend of mine named Gary Tackett. Um, I think he sold the company, made millions, is now rich and famous. I'm headed downtown, Music Row. Uh, since I'm not singing, 
the lead vocal on this demo. Um, got a guy named Matt Dame, who is a wonderful, wonderful talent, good country voice, perfect for this song. I go ahead and I put the two mix onto, there it is right there, the two mix, which is the music and all that stuff, onto a thumb drive. Take that on downtown, record, record the vocal, take it back home to my studio, put the vocal into my session there, and then we mix it down. Okay. Hey, this is Matt Dane. He's the one singing the demo. He's making notes now. I'm not bugging him at all. No. <laughs> Only got to say it once. Yeah, just once, baby. Don't you wanna dance with me? Just once, honey. Have a little drink or three. Just once, let me take you out to dinner for two. Just once. I told you Matt would do a great job. That guy's got that good country tone. Good guy too. Um, and that's where. Come back to my studio. Add some background vocals. Uh, this is pretty, like I said, straightforward country tune. Not going to get too crazy on the background vocals. Probably just do a little two-part thing here. Um, here we go. Just once, baby, don't you want to dance with me? Just once, honey, have a little drink or three. Just once, let me take you out to dinner for two. Just once, give me a little kiss, it turns into a bunch. Then spend the night just once to say you'll be my wife. And let me love you for the rest of my life. Just once. All right, so there's all the tracks right there. Um, as you can see, each one individually. We've got some drums, we've got some guitars, we've got some bass. And now um, I'm going to go ahead and mix it. Um, that's what, if you look here, let's zoom in here a little bit more. You can see I've already mixed the vocal. Those are all volume levels on where uh, that black line right there, you see that? It's like when you listen down to it and you make adjustments. Um, some people have, that's called automation. Basically do all the editing right there. And the um, finished product sounds something like this. Yeah, yeah, just once, baby, don't you want to dance with me? Just once, honey, have a little drink or three. Just once, let me take you out to dinner for two. Just once, give me a little Kiss it turns into a bunch, then spend the night Just once, say you'll be my wife And let me love you for the rest of my life Just once I know it's gonna happen, but it isn't cause I'm all that Hope you enjoyed that, um, showing you a little bit of how I make a song demo. Now, hopefully for the writer, they'll look and see what artists are cutting and um, they'll try to pitch that song to them, or their publishing company will, whatever. And the whole idea is to get like a Blake Shelton or Kenny Chesney or um, you know Jake Owen or somebody like that to, to cut that song because that's what keeps the, the engine going here. That's part of the Nashville machine, you know. Um, the writers, demo guys, get to the producers, artists, they pick it, they go in the big studio and they cut it. Hopefully it becomes a big huge hit here on the radio and you buy it and you love it. All right. Well, I hope you learned something. If not, um, hope I didn't waste too much of your time. I hope it wasn't too boring. See you later.